So just like you, I need to improve the consistency of both my irons and my driver. So I went out and saw who I believe is the world's number one golf coach, Pete Cowan, coached to many, many major champions. Now he gave me something that you're gonna absolutely love. He showed me exactly how to use the right arm in the golf swing for consistency of ball striking for both irons and driver. You're gonna love it. It's gonna help you too, because it works for any golfer. Come and join me right now. So I'd love to learn how to improve that level of consistency with flight control and just ball striking just generally. I don't think you've got enough money to pay me. I, I know, I know, I know the Rolex is coming, I promise. <laughs> right, go on then, let's have a okay. few shots and see what we've got, what see raw what... material we've got to work with. Right, okay. Can I have my excuses? This is like the first shot of the day. Go on then, you're fine. <laughs> So I always ask players what they're working on, particularly with their coaches. And, yep. you know, obviously you work on your game yourself. What do you work on when you're actually going out onto the range and obviously doing the videos? What yep. do you actually work on? What do you, what do you actually basically think that your golf swing is? So what's, what I, do I think it's wrong with the golf swing? No, what, what do you think you do well or badly in your golf swing? I've got good coordination, so I know I, I kind of I can get a ball around the golf course, you know, pretty pretty standard. But I do feel like what I tend to work uh, work on is just trying a bit more, being a bit more steady over the golf ball. But I know that I get a hell of a lot of um, lag. I get, this handle starts to drive, and you, I think you mentioned before it almost drags too much. And then I have a very very late release, which has means that I just don't feel like I've got control of the ball flight. Well, you hadn't, well, that one, that was far too high and loopy. Exactly. Yeah. That's exactly that. So that yeah. would be really, really typical. And then, so what I would do to kind of personally correct that, I'd start to kind of work on things to kind of drop that ball flight down. Um, some of the things that you've talked about in terms of loading the shoulder, you know, realizing that, you know, I found out when I, un, you know, unload that shoulder here and get the, feel like I'm getting the club more in this place here, I feel like I'm in a better place to come and compress the ball. Yeah, well, if you watch, players that are actually trying to work on controlling the ball flight, they ho always have to actually compress the shaft and the face on the ball. And to do that, you've got to be in the correct position, delivery position. But to get the delivery position, you've got to have loaded it correctly on the backswing. Yep. So I see most players, unfortunately, they load it where they've got to manipulate. Right. And you're the same, yep. you're exactly the same. So when I talk about the golf swing to everybody, I say, right, Simple terms, let's talk about a simple golf swing. So, the two worst golf shots in golf are what? Right going right, left going left. Definitely. Where do they come from? One comes from horizontal, the other comes from vertical. So obviously, that makes a 90 degree. And when I put that over the ball, you can see why I lose both of those balls. Yep. So I want one in the middle. So when I address the ball, this is the simplicity of the golf swing. Yep. I'm trying to get the right side in the right place on the backswing as well to apply the pressure to the ball to control your ball flight. So it's all interrelated. Yep. So when we actually address the ball, the, sh the shaft approximately is 45. Yep. And then as we move back on plane and set, approximately 45. Yep. Now this is the key. A lot of players separate their arms to 90 degrees okay. at that. Yep. Whereas a really good player that's compressing it has a 40, the right arm stays down and the left arm's about 45, 45 degrees. So yep. it makes about a 45 degree angle between the two. Yep. And the shaft stays in between. So then, as I am coming down correctly, the shaft moves to 40, staying behind me, but stays 45. And then as I turn the right side pressure on the ball, it comes back to 45 degrees. And as I move through, then it moves back and falls across my body to 45, yeah? Yeah, got it. So what players talk is about holding off. Yes. They don't. They've just got maximum pressure on the ball to take it to the finish. Yeah. That's what they do. But to do that, this right arm's got to sit down properly. So I don't see enough players moving this right. And that's why we talk to a lot of players about swinging cack-handed as a feeling. Yeah. Cack-handed being, you know, left below right for a right-handed player. So as we're going back now, you can see what that right arm does yeah. and the left arm, about a 45 degree angle. Yeah. And then from there, you can see how the right elbow comes out in front. And now where's the butt going to go there? It's going to match my body turn. It's going to match it, isn't it? Yes. yes. Yeah. And so then what I get on it, I can get shaft pressure and face pressure on it. Yeah. So I've got to get this right arm in a position where I call it from the top. I call it spinning the right arm down. Why? because I'm trying to match 
the arm speed with the body turn. When you say spinning the right arm down, what do you mean? Well, if I if I I'm spinning, I'm just spinning the spinning the arm down yep. without losing the right Before, wrist, and that's okay. why Hogan says, "I wish I'd have got three right hands because he could compress the ball with three right so right not hands." Not this, no. Yeah. So your forearm turns down, but you maintain the pressure. Yeah. 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 So then I can maintain the pressure on the shaft with the right hand and move it. To finish so i've got shaft pressure face pressure and i've got right wrist pressure all the way through so from there i can control the actual ball flight and i can even control it even more when i match the body turn to it yeah. because most people are throwing it so i'm saying to you right in the golf swing i'm trying to really in theory i'm trying to spin my arm down faster than i can turn yeah so the arm spinning down is making my body move out the way of course, I've got to spin it down because the ball's on the ground. Yeah. So the body's trying to turn this way, yep. but the ball's on the ground. So I've got to get something to move it down. So these are the simplistic views of getting the actual arm down into a pressure situation where I can apply shaft pressure. But more to the point, I've got body pressure because it's stretching up as I'm turning. Yep. So I've got the whole of the chest right side on it to achieve that. And I'm opening up. So I'm not just trying to pull the left side, which everybody thinks they're going to get massive speed out of pulling the left side well you're gonna if you're not careful you're gonna leave the club behind yep. and then all you've got to hit it with is brilliant hand-eye coordination so that's when they're dragging on yeah. and then so yeah. you know a mini shot a mini shot is basically from here a mini shot is from here if i get that in position i'm turning i'm turning the face down i'm turning the face down on the ball as i'm opening so i'm spinning my forearm down you see the you can see it on that camera, yeah. the right wrist pressure. So I'm just spinning my arm down and I'm maintaining wrist pressure as I'm turning through. And you can see from there, the start line is going to be very tight because yeah. I'm not too much from the inside and I'm certainly not over. Yeah. And I don't cast the wrist. I leave the wrist alone and I can, in, in some of the drills, I hold the elbow yep. and I turn the forearm down leaving the wrist i don't try and move the wrist out of the hand at all so i'm turning it down look how now the butt ends coming back into me yep. to match my left hip turn and then i get the stretch and then i can maintain that pressure on the ball okay so you have to build it up from almost mini swings now from here i'd be spinning the right side you can see from there spinning the right side down as my body's turning and okay. it's always coming in the correct delivery because I said to players, the only common denominator I've seen between all great players when they play well is they get the club in the correct delivery position relative to the shot they're trying to play. Yeah. Whether it's a fade or a draw, it's in the correct position. And that's what they do when they play. They all do it slightly differently, but they all get it in the correct delivery. Yeah. So they've got time. Yeah. Everybody says moment of truth is impact's too late. Yeah. So I'm, I'm in delivery relative to the shot. And then I can match all the movement up with the body. So how do you how do you go about starting this? So it's like some. The, so what I, what I would do to, to get you to get the feeling first yep. of all, I get you to swing cack handed and get this right arm and feel what the shoulder and the elbow and the forearm and the right wrist do okay. to actually achieve that. So I want you to do that for me, okay. right? And I want you to use your body when you do that, not just throw your arms up to the top, okay? So just just literally. Yeah, grip it cack handed. Yeah, yep. get okay. your posture right now. Yep. From there, move it around and sit that right. See now that right arm, now you've got a 45 degree angle. Can you see that? How tight this is. Yeah. Now from here. I feel that tight actually, yeah. 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 So now you're going to spin that, sh leave that club and leave it. You spin the shoulder down and then this forearm. Can you see how the right elbow has gone in front of your hip? Yeah, straight away. Right. So now you're turning the face pressure. And what's happened to your left hip? Yeah, yeah. Stretch. Look where your butt is. Yeah. Whereas your butt would be. Yeah, 100%. Almost, almost 100%, there. 100%. Yeah. yeah. All day long. Yeah. Yeah. So, so you're turning the pressure down. So sometimes you've got to have a feel for what you want to do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And other times you've got to say, well, I can copy what they're doing. Some people copy, some people feel, some people can just pick it up, you know, visually. Yeah. Right? Yeah, yeah. Straight away. So you've got to be careful with that and just say, right, what do you feel? What do you see? What do you see? What do you see and what do you feel when I do that for you? Well, the first thing I feel, this right shoulder feels very tight. Yeah. Um, so it feels kind of really, really stable. Yeah. And it feels like from here, um, I'm we're, correct. We're just, yeah, so I'm moving this down. It's kind of not sure what to do from there. Right, your forearm pressure. Yep. Your forearm. So you spin your forearm 
down. Can you feel that pressure in the foot? So you, you're basically spinning the forearm down. And keep, but keeping the wrist angle. Of course you do, yeah. yeah, yeah. So, but then you're doing your body action. Look how your body action's moved out there. And yeah. you've maintained your spine angle correctly. Yeah. Because you've moved the club out in front of you correctly. Yeah. Not manipulated it got out. Got it. So you've turned it down with pressure. Yeah, yeah. And you've got full face on that. So it looks like you've de-lofted the face. But yeah. you've got the shaft pressure and the face pressure. So different now, because I would normally be... Yeah. yeah. Well, everybody that's, you know, good manipulators yeah. will do that. Yeah. And, and that's, there's nothing wrong with that. Yeah. But you're not going to control your ball flight that easily. No, and it's, that's it. I mean, I find that I'm, uh, when, I'm on, when I'm playing Lynx golf courses, I can control it in the sense that all I'm doing is playing a punch style shot. Right. But, but most a... people, most people, when they're punching, drive the hands forward. 100%. Punch it. And they never really get the start line correct. Yeah. Uh, and it goes a lot. So I would say to you, right, I'm going to get you to hit a mini swing now there, yep. Danny. Grip normally. Just grip normally, yep. Yeah, I want you to swing up to just basically your hands just above your hip height on the back swing. Right, now hold that position. Now yep. we hold this right elbow yep. here. Now I want you to now turn the forearm down, but main, that's it, but maintain your wrist pressure. Got it? Yeah. Now it looks like that face is de lofted. Yeah, but it's not shut. No, definitely not yeah. shut. Yeah. All right. Yeah. So I've maintained, I've got the pressure. And that's why Hogan says he wished he'd had three right hands to hit it with. Yeah. Now you can hit it with three right hands from yeah, there. Yeah, you, you, want, you want to bang. smash yeah, it. Yeah, there. you do. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. But, but you're also stretching. Now you'd be stretching up as well. So you've got leverage from your left side as, you, as you're doing it. But that happens naturally. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Through, because I'm turning the right side down, then that's get, getting my legs to work into the ground properly. Yeah. Yeah. And that's why we say, look, the golf swing has got three dimensions to it. Up, down, lateral and rotation. Up and down, lateral and rotation, yep. right? So we're trying to incorporate all those, but one's got to be in charge because, right? Trying to think about lateral and rotation yeah, when you, yeah, yeah. it's impossible. Yeah. So I'm saying to you, right, in the golf swing, now, which one's going to be in charge? It's got to be vertical, hasn't it? Up and Could, down. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Because I would say it's the up, and down yep. that create the lateral yep. and then it will rotate. So that's that's why I'm turning the whole thing down onto it. So that's why I call it spinning down because I'm trying to get faster with my right side yep. than the body opening up. Yep. So I don't want it to get behind me. Yep. So I'm getting out. So it's a lot easier to play with the club out in front of you than from behind you. 100%. And it's a lot easier to get your start line correct. Yeah, so, that, so I'm thinking here when, so, the thing that I'm so when I'm when I'm in this position here, yeah. I'm maintaining that there. Yeah, but, then, but you really, what you're doing, you're maintaining the wrist, but you're spinning, you're spinning. So really, still, yeah, that's it. You're spinning your forearm down at the same oh, yeah, time. Oh yeah, it? very much so. Yeah, very different. Yeah. So, so I'm like, sp spinning the forearm down as as my body's opening up. Yes, so if I said to you, right, I want I want a mini swing now. Yeah. It's, it, timing's going to be an issue for you. The just first that shot. With, yeah, of yeah. course. Yeah, yeah. All right. Yeah. So, but I want you to almost go to. The, just past hip height, and yep. then I want you to try and spin, spin the right forearm down without, without losing. Without doing this. Yeah, without losing. So from, from the, you're back here, yep. I want you to now spin the forearm down, got it? Yep. So you feel as though you're turning the face down on the ball, yep. got it? Yeah, got it. I'm turning the face down on the ball, yep. and now I can move on the arc left. Yeah, got it. Got it. So uh, from here, I want you to spin your right arm down and turn the face on the ball as you are opening up. Yes, yeah, so, so I'm that, keeping the that, pressure that, on. Don't worry about the opening up, because no. that's going to happen. Naturally. Yeah. Yeah. So set yourself up. Okay. Little mini swing. Okay. Right, so and then when you spin, spin your right forearm down and open up properly okay. and turn that face down on the ball. So what's happened to the ball flight? It's much more penetrating. But it's much more pressure on it. You can hear it. Yeah, yeah, Even, yeah. you know, you hear it on the camera. Yeah. And that's... The problem is then, everybody thinks that they're going to get a lot more speed by swinging longer. But it's actually, really, what you could do is you could speed it up by spinning your right arm down faster and yeah. opening your body faster. But your body's going to open faster. Body. It's a bit like saying, right, I'm going to throw a ball to somebody 10 yards away. My body's only going to open up the right amount. Yeah. But if I'm throwing it to somebody at 50 yards, my body's going to open up in, in harmony with it, isn't it? Yeah, I'm not going to go, oh there no no so yeah, all of a sudden yeah. your brain knows what you've got to do yeah so if you've got it in the correct delivery position yeah you can maintain that all the way through yeah and i think with all this that speed comes once you've got the feeling i suppose doesn't it as well yeah okay, you, you as i said to you you know i don't know anybody that can't spin their arm down fast yeah. from the shoulder movement and the lat 
yeah. and the tricep. Yeah. And the, but, but really, it's almost, when people say, what do you mean? I say, look, the club's there. I'm leaving the hand alone. I'm spinning the forearm down. Yeah. I'm leaving. No, you're ro rotating it. Just spin it down. That's right. not... That you don't ne just know, spin yeah, it down. Yeah, 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 you don't okay. need to rotate it. You spin yeah. it down. That's right. it. Yeah. Can you yeah, feel yeah. the pressure behind yeah, it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah, that's yeah, going to yeah. put shaft pressure on your shaft as well. Yeah. Yeah, but I can feel myself because. But everybody, anybody that manipulates wants to do that all the time. <laughs> but the, you've got to remember as well. These guys out here, although they're great players, yeah. most of them are still manipulators. Yeah. Ninety over ninety percent of them are manipulators. Yeah. It's just the guys that have got better mechanics, and the brilliant manipulators. Yeah are the ones that win more consistently. Yeah. And plus the fact they all put. <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, it's that sort of thing. And I, I'm saying to you now, right, so I would get you to practice loading it, loading the body, cack-handed, and really working the body up to the top and really feeling the tightness in the whole of the body movement so to the, the top. first drill would be yeah. just trying to get the sensation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now you look at your angles there. Yeah. And then from there, you're slamming that right shoulder lat that's it there yeah. as you are now spin the right forearm down on it that's it yeah Isn't it? yeah now look yeah, at your yeah, chest yeah. chest chest is opening up correctly and the right side's delivering the blow so I, is it okay for me to feel this right side the well, whole pressing, right side going pressing well it'll happen yeah it should happen that's what it feels if i'm like. turning down properly yeah i'm not going to do that yeah I, yeah exactly that's just which feels... is what everybody does but the only reason people pop there yeah is because they pull the left side first yeah that's yeah. the only reason. Yeah. So if I can get to the point where almost I'm stood like this and I'm, and I'm turning the right side yeah. down on it, I'd be much better than somebody that's I can doing feel, this. I can really feel that. Yeah. I feel that. It feels very, 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 very stable. Yeah. Again, completely different. Yeah. To... But your ball flight will come down and then yeah. you can decide how much lower to do with that because you can set the shaft yeah. even more ahead. Yeah. Which will bring everything down even more. Okay, and, and so if you did want to get it up, you just push the ball forward or move the shaft back or? Yeah, I mean, yeah. ideally you would put it forward and you just say, right, the pressure is going a little bit more across the ball, if yeah. you like. Yeah. And I'd put a little bit more cut spin on it to keep it up there. But you will, you will get it up, I promise you. Yeah. You wouldn't put as much shaft lean on at, at address. And that's the least of my problems, yeah. really. So honest, if, 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 I, if I go there yep. and I maintain that, it's going to go X height. Yep. If I stand it square and turn it down, then it's still going to come back to me, but it's going to kick it up in the air. So yeah. when you say put it forward, I don't, because I'll still want the right side to be on it. Yeah. So, you know, when you put it forward, you might likely to move out of position. Okay, okay, perfect. But you can that's apply right, yeah. pressure in many, many, many different ways. But for me, feeling that right side tight and feeling the 45 degrees angle, and then from there, now from there, I'm spinning, I'm spinning my right arm down. Everybody looks at the body, what the body's doing, but my focus is on, I'm doing something to create another movement. Yeah, 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 yeah 100%. So I'm doing something to stop what 90% of poor, poor players do. Are you feeling I'm, it? Are you I'm gonna pour the power on. Yeah, I lost, yeah, yeah. And are you feeling it all in the right side? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. For me, yes. But yeah. I'm, I'm saying some people actually, you know, with this, yeah. they can feel that they're turning their left shoulder down as well. That's why I talk about, you know, controlling the shoulder muscles, they're turning the, so when I'm both, both my shoulder muscles are turning down, yeah. I can maintain pressure. Yeah. But I can't turn them down if I'm out of it. No, you're, yeah. Because I've got to use the hand flick, manipulation. You've got from there, yeah. I've got to. Okay. So that's why we talk about the shoulder pressure that you apply to the actual arm pressure, to a, the hand pressure, to the shaft pressure, to the face pressure. Okay. So it always feels as though you're turning the face down on the ball and then moving it on the arc. So even a mini shot for you, I'd say to you, right, I want you to do this then, get to the, turn the face down on the ball with the forearm and just, you know, just knock it as though you're going into a force nine gale and just, it's just coming out like a bullet. And I'm using seven on here, but you'd probably hit like just a 90 yards, 100 yards type yeah, shot. Yeah, so. grip it down and do that same thing. Yeah. yeah. Right, turn the face down on from that position. So here. Right, turn it, turn it down, forearm pressure, shaft pressure, and go. It okay. say you want, it yep. feels like it's going like a bullet yep. through the wind. There you go. I know it's moved on the wind, but it's moved on the wind, but it's got, it, there's a noise there. Yeah. I, Whereas, the first one you hit was a clean, yeah, almost a clean hit. You can see that's pick. compressed, isn't it? Yeah, that's compressed. Yeah. So, you know, in an ideal world, 
you've got to get the right delivery position and the right loading. So it's, this, it's the old saying, if I load it properly, I can probably unload it properly. If I load it poorly, which is what most players do, they try and get a look that they say, right, oh, this is a, a really good swing. This is, you know, my arm's in the right. Now from there, I've gone. Yeah, yeah. I can't control the pressure from there. Yeah. If I, I'm here. So you're just, just for the people who are watching, that when they say load, this is now packed. stable because packed. you're at that position where yeah, you've- I'm packed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You're not so gonna now, let it go. From here, I can turn the shoulder muscle down. Leave the hand alone, look. Yeah. Turn the shoulder muscle down to the and then I can maintain the pressure all the way through. And all of a sudden, I'm matching the turn to the body movement. Yeah. Matching the downturn. So I call it, you know, from here, when I've loaded it properly, I can spin it down as hard as I want. Yeah. Spin it down as hard as I want and keep moving. Yeah. You know, that'll just go further and further and further. Yeah. You know, so I know right. for a fact that if I spin my arm down faster, I can get, you know, really, really good club head speed, okay. even for an old fart like me. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, let's see if I can rip a few out there. So, but you wouldn't be in any hurry at all here to hit big shots. You just want to learn, no. the, f learn the feeling first. Of Absolutely, because there's a lot of people who can't actually, you know, they don't respond to feeling until they get it. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I don't know what you mean. I don't know, you know, yeah. so what we've got to do is give you something that's going to feed you into the feel. Got it. Posture's good, load it properly. And that's it, nice and tight. Forearm pressure, that's it, down. So turn the face down on the ball and move. Okay. So that's all right, but what you've done, what you've done there is because it's gone left. Yeah, I've got underneath thoughts. Yeah, you've turned the face down, but you've yeah. let the wrist go. Okay. That's why it's gone like that. Okay. So you've not maintained the pressure to the finish. Enough, so you've yeah. not continued turning your body to the finish. Got it, got it. So your body, what happens there is, and that's the way I talk about that, I want the inside to keep turning to stabilize the outside because yep. of what I talk about, you know, the kiddies roundabouts where the chains on the, the, the swings on the roundabout yep. and the kids sit in their swings and as the center goes round, they go out yep. quite naturally and they can't go any higher than that because obviously the gravity. So they're swinging around at speed, the center's going around and they're all happily swinging and then all of a sudden it slows down gradually and they come in, yeah. nobody gets hurt. But if you're spinning round that quick and somebody jams the centre, yeah. the outside then becomes yeah, all unstable. Of it. So it's the same in the golf swing. If I stop the centre moving, yeah. the outside becomes unstable. And that's what I've done now. I've come in yeah. here, stopped, and yeah. then Correct. flicked. So okay. you've not taken it full pressure all the way through. Yeah. So that's, but it's a good way of hitting a, a sling draw. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But it's, it's a nice, still a nice shot, but it's got too much right to left spin on it. Okay. But this bit, this transition was okay though. Turn it, turn it down, turn the, that's it, turn the, that's it. As though you mean it, yeah? Yeah, okay, got it. I quite like that. You've outpaced it with your body a little bit. Felt that's a why it was bit, a bit thin. Yeah, I felt a little bit out of time So you're just slightly out of, but it's it's really started where, and it's got some, still got some pressure on it. Yeah, I felt that. It's not looped, has it? No. So, no. you know, then it's, then it's a question of, how much do I turn it down and turn through it at the same time? Yeah. You know? I could, what, so you could now, which I, I quite like players to do, right. Uh, instead of you turning it down quickly, I want you to turn it down slowly. Okay. Right? But I want you to turn it down and just still move with it. Yep. So match it all up. Okay. But with a, a much calmer swing, yeah? Yeah. All right? So but I want you to turn it down. I want you to feel that you're just going right here. I want you to feel that you're just going bang with the forearm, yeah, the wrist, the forearm, wrist, bang, and then just, that's it, and do it nice and calm, but we should still hear good pressure on the ball, even though you're doing it calmly. Okay. So, load it, turn that face pressure down and move, move with it, that's it, nice and calm to the finish. Nice, but you've slowed down a little bit through impact, which is why it's just turned a little bit more. When you say yeah. slow down, I've... Yeah, you've gone calm, Slow down, club's gone, and then you've got tried it. to pick it up after. Got it. Yeah, 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 yeah. So it's just a combination movement. That's yeah. all. Yeah, and that's when and you then, that's the swings going. That's, right, yeah. and then I'm saying to you now, what I want you to do now, little three quarter, I want you to turn it down, and I want you to feel like you're holding it off this okay. side. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. it don't don't sling. Would you visualise the third to help? Yeah. Yeah. yeah absolutely. Yeah. So you turn it down, and then I'm turning it down, and my arm pressure is continuing up. It feels like, watch, it feels like I've held it off. This way. That's it, I've held it off. 
that's it. Turn that face, full face down with pressure in the forearm and finish it like a fade. Okay. What's it done? Pressure fade. Yeah. But you can hear the difference in the noise, can't you? Yeah, I can feel it. Yeah. I can feel and the... It, it's, it's, it's maximum efficiency of movement. Yeah. That's what it is. So when everybody's saying, you know, oh, do I need to get into the gym? Yes, you do if you want to be really, really good, but you really need to be able to control the actual right side in your golf swing. For me, the right side in the golf swing to make the left side open up. Everybody says, I want you to be open more at impact. But if your right side's not in the right position, delivery is no point. No. And do you know what, what, so what I'm feeling in this, uh, Pete, is the brilliant lesson you gave me last year on, on the short game. I know it, we're talking completely different impacts and it's a short game is a specialist, but both things are club first control. Yeah. You gave me club first control mm -hmm. yeah. with the short game yeah. where I was able to control trajectory by putting that pressure. Mm -hmm. And I know this is completely different in terms of what we're trying to achieve, but the same feeling I'm getting is um, less handsy and I know that with some practice, I'm, I'm going to be able to kind of stabilize that, feel like yeah. I'm stabilizing the club a little yeah. bit more and get, yeah. get better ball flight. Yeah, definitely. Amazing. Definitely. That's it, that forearm. That forearm, spin it, spin it down and hold the pressure on it and finish it. So it's, it's staying here right. and then right. turn it down. Right. Grab the elbow. Yeah. Grab your elbow. Yeah. Like, like this, there. Yeah. And then the hand position. Okay. Right. Yeah. So that's your, that's your club face. Yeah. Right now, watch forearm spin down. That's it, and hold it. Can you feel it? Yeah, yeah definitely. Yeah, and yeah. this stays in position. Yeah. Doesn't doesn't pop. No. Yeah? Okay. So I'm, I'm just. It's almost like a dink. I'm spinning it down as I'm turning. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah. from here, as I'm spinning it, down, I shouldn't have to rotate that at all. No. I should just be able to spin it down and maintain the pressure on Amazing. it all the way through. Yes, there's none of this at all. No. Yeah. No. Got it. Because yeah, I can then keep the shaft pressure. And then the left arm comes back into you correctly on the way through. And then, you know, like I say, feel, it almost feels like a fade. Turn it down and move. That's it. Now your right side's in position. Yeah. No. No. You've thrown, you've thrown the club at that. Okay. So you've gone in position and then you've just thrown the club at it. Okay. You've not maintained the shaft pressure and the face pressure on the ball. Okay. So you, you've tried to turn the right wrist down, but then you've stopped. You haven't maintained that pressure all the way through. Okay. Just, re just learn that feeling again. Down. So turn the face down on the ball. That's it. Turn it down on the ball. Don't be frightened of turning the full face down on the ball as you're opening up. Okay. Let's play it from there. Sod it. Yeah, turn the face down. Then. Full face down on the back of the ball and move. So you've manipulated that, yep. which we knew. Because the, when you've got a puddle, bad lie, everybody's trying to pick the ball instead of just saying, no, no, maintain that pressure. Okay. Go on, that was a like... half swing again. Maintain that pressure. Turn it down. Turn it turn it down into you. So this way? That's it. Turn. That's what it feels. That's it. Turn oh, it down okay. into you. That's yeah. it. That's it. Turn it down. The ball's got, you've got to get down, not around. There's enough around with your body. Turn it down and move. That's better. That's better. But if you if you set the shaft pressure a little bit more at address, that will come right down the pressure on yeah. that ball. I'm going to try and visualise that. I think when you ask me to play a very low one, I feel as though I can match the. That's it. Spin it. So what you're doing is you're spinning it down in front of you, aren't you? Yeah. You're not spinning it down out there. No, it's it's that's there. The, that's how you maintain the pressure on it. That lets, that that's okay? it. That's yeah. the, the body's opening up. That's it. That's it. Yeah. Then maintain the pressure. That's easy to move it on the arc. No. No. So you've cast that. Okay. So you can see the divot's gone much, much deeper. Yeah, definitely. So you've cast it early. So in an effort to in an effort to turn it down, you've lost all the angles. Okay. You've not maintained the pressure in the elbow, the forearm, and the half shaft. Yeah. So even a shorter swing than that, get me a shorter swing and more pressure. Okay. So a little half swing, hip high, hip high, turn it down into you. So here. That's it. So. All you're doing is turning it down. So don't don't worry about the don't worry about the, the club moving. Just think about your forearm pressure down in there. So yeah. maintain the forearm pressure. That's it. Yeah. That's it. That's it. That's it. Maintain okay. that. That's it. Maintain that pressure as got you move. It. I think I got it. Yeah, yeah. Open up. Down. 
better. better. Do, you know what, do you know what that was? It's similar to, it just felt, I think, yeah, I could feel, it's almost like, almost really delaying this, feeling like it's almost delayed, mm. right? Because this wants to do this. Cause because been, that's tight. I've trained it, haven't I? Yeah, yeah. I've you trained have. that kind of, yeah. yeah. So now it's just a question of, you know, drilling it in, drilling it in, drilling yeah. it in, what, what do you want? And that's what I would say to your, you know, your uh, subscribers that, you know, most of you, unfortunately, are what I call pickers or flickers. And, yeah. and because you've got to be, because you're not in the delivery position that you could actually just apply pressure to the shot and yeah. turn. Yeah. So, and that's why they're not playing the tour. They're not out there playing yeah, the tour. Yeah, no, but I get uh, it. Maintaining that pressure and turning, then the body angles and the spine angle and the chest is all you know in the right place but you've got to load it to unload it properly. yeah so so none of this is this is useless until we've nailed this yeah and that when we've nailed that then it's a kind of getting that sensation yeah of, and, and that's why i said from here it's leaving every leaving the club alone and spinning the arms down and the club will come out in front of you naturally that's it that's it. it's just really a question of right from there leave everything alone how can i fast can i spin it down and move out of the way yeah that's it. Got it? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, yeah. I can, how fast can I move that and spin it out of the way? Let's get it while it feels there. Yeah, and keep that shaft angle. Don't like that because you dragged it. Right. So you, you can see that it started right. Yeah. So I know from there you've got too much shaft lean with the club face open. Yeah. And that you've not turned the full face down on the ball because your start line would have been a lot more to the left than that. Yeah. So I've tried to keep the shaft lead, but I've kind of driven it. Yeah. Yeah, as opposed to get the forearm doing. Yeah, exactly. Down. So hit that minute, hit that, as though, you, as though you're messing about, you're going to walk up to it, you're yep. going to go bump with Got my it. forearm, my pressure and my shoulder pressure, and just play the shot as though I'm chipping it into a very strong wind and I'm not yeah. going to get the ball flight too high. Yeah. Better, much better, much better. Now you've turned the face down on the ball. I think that's the place to start. Mm. Isn't it? I think that's what I, I need to feel. Like when you when you asked me to do that before, I felt as though I had much much more control. I think adding that pacing a little bit. To, uh, I'm going back to the old manipulation. Mm -hmm. Yeah, got it. That's it. Turn, spin it down. Spin your arms down as fast as you can. Hold in position and go. Match it up. Really good. Really good. Got full face pressure on that, and the finish says you've done it well because you matched your body turn to it. I feel that. I feel like good. Yeah, I like that. What are the questions that your subscribers would ask? So I think um, I suppose the one thing they're going to ask is they're going to see they're going to see someone like myself trying this and realise actually it's quite tricky hmm. uh, to do. And, and a lot of people they they're going to how do you take someone like this to the, to the golf course? Yeah. You know, so how do you build this? And then, you know, from this, uh, doing some shots like this, how long is it likely to take? And what do you do to take it to the golf course? Yeah, well, obviously you're, go you're gonna go back to tight mostly. It's, it's just that you progressively get that little bit better and a little bit better. And then when you play, you leave it alone. Yeah. You don't, yeah. You, you're not playing practice rounds when you're playing golf. No. You know, and you're not playing practice ground, you know, when you're actually out playing golf, you hit the shots and you're still, you're still going to, players that are manipulators are still going to, but you can add that little bit of pressure shots. You can add, you know, other things to your armory as well, which is good and it will get better. And there's no doubt about it. If you learn to actually deliver the blow a lot better and the body opening up, you're not going to injure yourself because I see the injuries coming from, you know, this yeah. and tilting, not, not from that in yeah. front of me out there completely and, and would something you know there's gonna be people out there who are you know in their 50s senior golfers does this apply to 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 those guys i'm 72 yeah you know so you know even you know the 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 the, the guy that wants to play a little bit better golf he's going to stand here and he's going to say well if i turn the club down like that and move you know even at, at this pace if i turn the club down that and move yeah you know but you wouldn't do that because that's a terrible strike so from here, you're turning the face down on it and it's only just a mini, mini. And then it's that, you know, and you can play with, you could play with that, that's 130 yards with a nice shot yeah. without really too much effort. Just out of interest, with that previous shot, which wasn't quite struck as good, and what, what have you done to change that? Well, I've, from straight away, I've just used my right forearm better. Okay. 
So I've just, on the second one, I've turned my forearm, my forearm down a little bit more and then moved it that right. way. Yeah. Yeah, I get that. So I've moved it down. For and on the so first so one. The lot of the older players, they don't use these muscles. They think they've got to, you know, do that. And I'm saying, no, most people have got a forearm that they could actually punch with or yeah. do that. And then if they're in the right position here and they turn it, they turn the face down and move. It's amazing how much you can get because you're always pushing it forward. Yeah. So it's always going in the direction yeah, you want to go. Yeah, I get it. But I don't, I don't, I see far too many players when, you know, when they're having lessons, they say, well, I've got to get from the inside. But if you look at me from here, as I'm turning my arms down, where's the club coming from? The yeah. inside. Inside all the time. So inside you, correctly. Yeah. Not so, from the inside under. So the guys, uh, uh, so let's say you've got, we've, you know, I'm a natural draw of the ball, but there's going to be plenty of people who are slicing it on the yeah. channel. And, you know, how does this type of thing, what we've done today, help someone who's slicing it? Well, from, from the top, what it will help them, they'll probably, from here, they'll probably turn it down almost too early. Right. But, I, but then all of a sudden the path's going to the right and the ball's a bit left. So <laughs> yeah, <laughs> all yeah. of a sudden you can almost throw, throw it down and draw it from there. Yeah. So from here... Here, right, what is he saying? Throw that right arm. So throw the right arm down from the inside and just keep going. So if I throw the right arm down early and do that, I've got a... You've got a beautiful draw. I've got my draw. Yeah. I? Yeah. Yeah. If I throw the right arm down from here and move it across the ball, I've got my fade. Love it. Love it. All right. Brilliant. All Pete, right. That's awesome. I get some practice done. Thanks so much right, for your time. I really yeah, appreciate pleasure. that. I really yeah. appreciate that. Hope they enjoy it. Yeah. How good was that? I hope you really enjoyed it. If you did and you want to see me have a short game um, lesson with this maestro, click this link right here. If you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. Maybe share it with one of your friends who may be struggling. Of course, look, if you're new to the channel, press that subscribe button right here so you don't miss out on future videos.